Well, good morning. Today is Monday, September 5th. It is time for our weekly meeting highlights. Uh, today, it's about how to make losing weight feel less overwhelming. Okay, we always start off with how we've done, how not how we've done, how I've done for the previous week. Um, <clears throat> I'm coming off of a three-week 7.8 loss. I'm really happy about that. But how did I do this week? Let's take a look. I'm fine with that. I had a 0.2 gain. i got to fix this out of the way, sorry. Uh, I had a 0.2 gain uh, for a total weight of 237.8 for a total loss of 66.4. Um, after coming off three weeks of a almost eight pound loss in three weeks, I know my body had to somewhat fluctuate a little bit, kind of catch up to where I'm at. Plus I went out to dinner on Saturday night and I went out to breakfast yesterday morning. So I think I have a little bit of a sodium gain. I am perfectly fine with a 0.2 gain. Uh, to me, it's just like staying the same. So I am fine with that. Uh, today's Labor Day. We don't have any barbecue scheduled or anything like that. So I can stay on plan today and I have no worries. I really have no worries. But today we're going to talk about how to make lo losing weight feel less overwhelming. Actually, one thing not to do this week. <laughs> okay. Tracking your food. Yes, I have been. I've been double tracking. I'm tracking on the MyFitnessPal uh, for calories and I'm tracking on the Weight Watchers app for points. I've been consistently over on my points on the Weight Watchers app, but I've been under my uh, calories on the um, my Fitness Pal. So I, I do both just to keep me aware of where I'm at. So um, it's a little bit more work, but I don't have a problem with it because it's really helping me out. We need to get in some activity. Drinking plenty of water, you should do all of the above. Not if you're stressed, burnt out, or just totally overwhelmed. Uh, I do miss my walking. Uh, sometimes I just think I gotta get another thing of water in. I just gotta get another thing of water in, and I'm thinking as long as I got some water in. I mean, the the recommended is eight ounces or eight glasses of eight ounce glasses, so that's 64 ounces. Pretty much do get that in every day, so um, I'm not really overly concerned about stressing about getting my water in. I was to a point that I stressed about the fact that I wasn't walking, but um, my foot is finally starting to feel better and I don't want to jinx it and get it worse, so I'm just kind of taking slow steps, as they say, and not really getting back to completely going for walks, but walking more around the house in, in my yard and things like that. Um, take this as a sign to cross one thing off your to-do list without doing it. We promise it won't ruin your weight loss efforts. In fact, it'll set you up for even more wins. Learn how to prioritize your to-dos, create a realistic road for each task, and move in for this week's technique. Uh, I do find that now that I'm calorie counting and not stressing about getting a blue dot, uh, not staying within my points on Weight Watchers, um, that I'm more relaxed with my program, I'm more relaxed with my weight loss. Um, I went out to eat two days this week. Usually if I go out to eat even one day, I gain two or three pounds. And the, and the fact is the reason that I do that is because um, I just have um, kind of given up sometimes. And I just think, you know, I'm not, I, I plan on eating out this week, so I'm just gonna do what I wanna do. I'm not gonna really worry about um, following a certain plan because I know I'm gonna eat out. No, no, I just think that, you know what? They were unexpected. Well, the breakfast was not unexpected. Jim's friend uh, had opened up a diner, and we said we were going to go to support them. We went out for breakfast. But uh, Saturday night, Bertie came over, and we were just sitting around, and I had planned on having a salad for dinner with, you know, some lunch meat with some ham rather on it and some cheese and things like that. But uh, she had suggested, why don't we go out to eat? So I didn't have any guilt because I know I had been good all week. Not so much good, but I had made smart choices through the whole week and so I thought I can afford to go out to eat and I, I ate with no guilt. <laughs> I actually had a hot fudge cake which could contribute to the point two gain probably. But um I I ate without guilt and I felt I felt fine with it. And today like I said I'm I'm back on track. I'm not stressing about well oh, you know what I because I, tomorrow is my birthday dinner. My birthday is actually on Wednesday the seventh but um we're doing my family's coming over tomorrow and we're having a barbecue tomorrow and uh and, and I'm going to have a piece of cake. I'm going to have a good slice of cake. I really am because it's my birthday. But uh, 
staying on track today. I'm gonna stay on track up until my birthday dinner. It's barbecued chicken. Uh, you know, I can still make smart choices and have a, a slice of cake and then just get right back on track on Wednesday. I have a big enough family that they, they won't, there's never any cake left because a cake for like 15 people, you know, everybody gets a slice of cake, so I don't have to worry about leftovers on that. But this is how to tame your to-do list. Stressing over how you'll fit everything in this week, take a deep breath and repeat, I don't have to do it all. Do you feel better? Okay, let's focus on what you can accomplish and how you can do it. So these are some suggestions that they tell you that you can do to try. List all the goal supporting tasks you want to take on this week. Then circle the ones that are most important to you and doable, considering what else you have going on. Like I said, I have a birthday dinner coming up tomorrow. Uh, and I forgot, I'm actually going out to uh, lunch on Thursday with my girlfriend. She's taking me out to lunch for my birthday. Those are two meals. Those, those are two meals out of 21. So uh, I can make smart choices and I can do it. So these are some of the things that they suggest that you probably do every, every day anyhow. Uh, meal prep your dinners. You go to the gym or you write in your journal. Okay, I love writing in my journal, so that's not a problem for me. So I have a, I can write in my journal, no problem. Um, I don't so much meal prep my meals, but or even my dinners. But when I wake up in the morning, I plan what I'm going to have for the day. I plan my snacks. I plan when I first get up what I'm going to have. Um, I always have some sort of fruit when I first get up, um, whether it's some grapes or some watermelon or an apple or a peach, something like that. Then I plan my breakfast. I don't always eat a lunch, but if I think I might have a lunch that day, I plan on what I might have for a lunch, and then I plan what I'm going to have for dinner. And I eat for the most part, because I eat my dinner so late, I don't have snacks after dinner. We, I, I don't eat my dinner till like 6.30, 7 o'clock. So um, I don't need to have anything to eat after that. So I usually have a snack right around 4 or 5 o'clock because I usually eat my first meal around 1 or 2. So, But I don't go to the gym, but I'm really considering thinking about going. I'm going to see hopefully that the, the uh, pools open up around here because Bertie and I did enjoy going to water aerobics. So I'm going to see if there's some water aerobic classes going on. But if you can't manage to do them all, tweak it until you find something that will work. So um, I can I can make plans for all of those things. That's not a problem. Number two is break down that one task into the smallest steps possible. Then make a plan for what you'll do and what you might need to do for each of them. So um, one of the things they suggest is checking out the WW app for inspiration and make a menu. Uh, write a grocery list, go to the store, chop veggies and marinate proteins and prep anything else, and cook three meals for tomorrow, cook three meals tomorrow night. Okay, I cook my meals every night. I don't, I don't prep meals. I, I just, I see so many people do it and more power to you because that works for you. It, it just doesn't work for me. Um, I don't make a menu. <laughs> Other than during Lent, I usually make a menu plan during Lent just because it's kind of like a sacrifice for me then because I don't like making menu plans for... I, I like to wake up that day and, and understand what I'm going to have that day, um, not plan it out for the whole week. That's just not who I am. There's a lot of people that are and more power to you, but that's just not who I am. And um, I, I never write a list, a grocery list, which would probably be better, but I always have in my mind what I know I, I need and what I want. And um, I don't chop my veggies or anything ahead of time. Uh, for the week, I might for the day. I, I find that once you clean them and that they get soggy really quick, and so I just uh, I just do it. Like I, if I know I'm going to have a vegetable tray today for lunch, I'll prep the vegetables and in the morning so that when it's time to eat lunch, I just put them on my plate and they're all set. But let's dive a little deeper. We have a good to-do list. Okay, we mostly love the thrill of taking a, pay, a pen and saying done, but like a four-letter word. But life, oh, but life's like a four-letter word, busy. And if you keep adding more to your list without giving yourself any breathing room, the only thing you may end up crossing off is the likelihood you'll get anything done. Uh, I think the fact that I was stressing so much about, like I said, getting a blue dot, staying within my points, uh, it wasn't an enjoyable experience for me. I kind of slack. Oh, I didn't kind of. I did slack off and gain a lot of weight. And uh, but now that I'm concentrating on calorie counting and making smarter food choices. Um, I, I, 
lost almost eight pounds in two weeks and three weeks and so it, it's working for me but give yourself permission to do less doable less important items Prior prioritize just one or two things that you have to do trust us this appro approach won't ruin your weight loss efforts then break down those tasks into smaller even more doable steps and you'll create something better than a to-do list a clear road to where you want to start and finish with preset stops to fuel up on accomplishments and momentum along the way. But one thing you have to always remember, you do not have to do it all to be successful. There is no buddy that I watch that doesn't slip at least once. Maybe not, they might go like months and months and months and be perfect, but then they always have that one little slip. And it's not even a major slip, it's just like it wasn't completely on their plan. I think that any diet that's going to be successful is if you give yourself a little bit of leeway to um, to kind of go off the track, maybe not go off the rails, but just to go a little bit off track and not stress about something like, for me, I know when I go out to eat at a restaurant, there is a healthy choice menu. I know that. I know that completely. I know that. But um, I don't feel guilt. And choosing my favorites when I go to a restaurant because now instead of having all of my favorites I do say well you know what I really like I like really like a baked potato but the last couple times I went I like a baked potato loaded the last couple times I went I asked for the butter on the side it's 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 a little bit um, you know people think oh wow big deal but it, for me that was a big deal I still was able to order my Alice of Spring chicken with a baked potato and enjoy the chicken which was very high in points and calories but I kind of took a couple of the calories away by not having the cheese and the sour cream and you know like the bacon bits and things like that the whole scheme of things that little bit of a sacrifice is not really saving me a ton of weight but it made me feel better about myself and I think that as long as you make choices that you feel better about yourself with and you don't feel guilt, then I think that's the way to go. But one thing to remember is you don't have to do it all to be successful. This journey should fit into your life, not to take it over. Simply deciding what to prioritize and doing that can free up precious time and headspace that you keep that will help keep you on track. Well, this is the month of time-saving solutions, so um, we'll see what they have to say for the next uh, three weeks, because there's four weeks in September, I guess. Four Sundays? It must be four Sundays in September, because they send the uh, emails out on Sundays. But uh, I, I agree with that. I think um, just give yourself leeway. Give yourself permission to um, enjoy your life. Don't... You know, like, there's nothing wrong with if you go to a party bringing something that you like that you can snack on. But if you see something that you really want to try that you it's not in your everyday life, have a little bit of it. You don't have to go crazy eating it, but just have a little bit of it. Just enough to satisfy the, the urge that you think, oh, you know, like, somebody's apple pie. Oh, they make the best apple pie. That doesn't mean you have to have a whole piece. Maybe take a couple bites out of a piece of pie. And then just take a smaller piece of pie, even. You know, it's just just take a little bit of time to enjoy your life because you know you only get one life well other than our afterlife which is my dream afterlife is i'm able to eat whatever i want and not gain a pound <laughs> which is probably what it's going to be but you know like right now in the here and now enjoy your life live a good life be be happy um don't do anything that that doesn't bring you pleasure and if if uh to me, counting the points, getting the blue, and getting a blue dot was not giving me pleasure. So, I decided to opt out of that way of life, and uh, I have no regrets. I do still like getting the uh, highlights from Weight Watchers because um, this does make me feel better about myself, about my my choices, and um, I think that we need to do that. So, how did you guys do on your weight loss this week? How are you celebrating Labor Day and staying on track? So many things. So many things going on in the world. So many things going on in your life. Especially now. It's hard to believe summer is coming to an end. I refuse to say that summer has ended. It's not until the 20-something of this month that summer. Because it's still officially summer. As far as I'm concerned, I'm going to sit out here as long as I can. Even if I have to bundle up in a jacket. <laughs> but, uh, and stay on track. That's my plan. And live my life and enjoy my life. So, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Leave a comment. Hit the like button. Share if you think somebody might like to see it. Stay safe. 
hopefully I see you back here again next week. But if not, I'll check check me out on my daily vlog. Stay stay strong in your beliefs. Enjoy your journey, and uh, don't feel guilt if you go a little bit off track. Just follow your way back, and you'll get there. I know you will. Just follow your way your way your senses. And I'm making no sense now, so I'm going to end this video. I will talk to you guys soon. <laughs>